In late 2012, at a residential site in the UK, a young child who was riding on a powered gate was carried into the gap between the gate leaf and supporting pillar, becoming trapped and sustaining serious internal injuries which required surgery. The child was small enough to be carried through the 144mm wide gap between the vertical bars of the 6 meter long and 2 meter high gate leaf and supporting pillar. The safety edge fitted on the support pillar failed to prevent this. The safety edges fitted on the support columns were not best positioned to avoid foreseeable risk, from drawing in and whole body access between the moving gate leaf and stationary parts. The forces exerted by the gate in both the closing and opening directions gave results less than those specified in the current published standard. Clause 51154 of this document clarifies, drawing in points cannot normally be safeguarded by limitation of forces only. Clause 51153 explains that alongside limitation of force, passing edges should be evaluated to compensate for whole body access, including the distance between a stationary post and gate leaf. Though the standard does not define a maximum gap size, manufacturers and installers are requested to put extra care into avoiding injuries on a job-to-job -job basis. The F8565 corner edge is available as one of many solutions from ASO helping to resolve this issue. Look out for our follow-up video covering how. The document covers force, speed and recommendations for measurements of hardware, but the hazard of whole body access is not currently recognised. A formal objection has already been made and the standard is currently being revised. It is anticipated that the revised standard will fully take this into account. Gate designers, installers, maintainers and owners need to be able to recognise and avoid the risk of potentially serious or fatal injury from whole body access. In the interests of public safety, member state authorities responsible for market surveillance and the enforcement of safety and maintenance for powered gates are asked to consider passing this information on, particularly to those working in the powered gate industry, so please share this video amongst your peers and colleagues. And subscribe to the EasyGates channel today for more gate safety videos and tutorials.